parents of Madeleine McCann have suffered a further defeat at the European Court of Human Rights, where they're battling ongoing claims they were involved in their daughter's disappearance. The couple are fighting a Supreme Court decision to overturn a libel case against a former detective. They argue Portuguese police disrespected their right to a private life. In a moment, we'll get more on today's ruling, but first, Victoria Innes on what the case is all about. He was one of Portugal's most senior detectives, with a career spanning 27 years. Perhaps no surprise then that when Madeleine McCann disappeared in his region, Giancarlo Amaral was appointed lead investigator. But when Madeleine's parents, Kate and Jerry McCann, were named official suspects, Mr Amaral began to criticise the pair, accusing British police of chasing leads created by the family. He was later removed from the case, and though the McCanns were cleared in 2008, in his eyes they were guilty. Three days later, he released what he called a tell-all book, called The Truth of the Lie. In it were a series of shocking claims, among them that the McCanns had abducted their daughter and hidden her body. It became a bestseller in Portugal and a documentary, and Mr Amaral became a familiar face, appearing on television around the world. Meanwhile, Madeleine McCann's family continued to deny his claims, both publicly and in court. A decade-long legal battle fought alongside the search for their daughter. Victoria Innes, Talk TV. Well, for more on that European court ruling, I'm now joined by uh, Jack T Talk TV's Jack Parrick, live from Brussels. Jack, it's been a long fight for the McCanns, but this isn't the outcome they were hoping for today. No, certainly not. A really, really bad outcome for them. In fact, all of the seven panel of judges uh, ruled against them to say that the two claims that they were making, one, that their right to, to a private life, to privacy, had been infringed upon, and the other, that their right to a fair trial had been infringed upon as part of this book. Essentially what judges are saying is that the information that was released in that book and that what Gonzalo Amaral was saying that that was already in the public domain and that it was knowledge that was known to investigators as part of the fact that they were put under investigation. Now, they, this is a case that has been going on for 13 years now. The McCann say that it is essentially uh, the only reason that they're doing this is to try and help the investigation into Madeline, to make sure that it is not prejudiced by the information that that detective was releasing. They say as a re result of this ruling, after the ruling today, they've released a statement to say that they are naturally disappointed. They do have the possibility to appeal this judgment. Actually, this has been going on so long. It was ruled in 2015 that they, that, that, that they won in a court in Portugal on this case, but then that was overturned on appeal in 2017 in Portugal, which then took this case all the way to the European Court of Human Rights. They can appeal, but the question is, Rosanna, will they want to? The issue with libel cases like this is, the more that you appeal, the more you go through them, the more the cases are talked about, the more the case of their suspicion that was put upon them is talked about. And the family may now not wish to do so. And that's because in, earlier this, in April this year, earlier this year, uh, Portuguese officials named a German man, a 44-year-old convicted rapist, Christian Bruckner, as a suspect in the case. Uh, German officials have stated, the German police have stated that they think that Madeleine is probably dead. An investigation, though, is still ongoing by British police.